get ready, everybody from around the world. It's uh, Blake and Brent here, and we're going over this video and a few others that will quite honestly shock you in regards to people trying to make money on this alien agenda. But right now, take a look at this coming in from Alan Young. This video is captured September 14th, 2017. Let's just roll the video for now. All right, so now that we're gonna repeat the video and basically what did Alan Young capture? He said he was walking out, taking photos of the sunset and he zoomed in on this plane and caught this bright light. So he began to video and zoom in, but I'll put the link in the description below so you can take a look at Reed Young's original videos that he has taken. What is it? I wanna get your opinions because in regards to chemtrails, and UFO sightings, they're basically hand in hand. This is not uh, or unordinary. This is actually quite ordinary in regards to the UFO phenomenon and chemtrails. Brent Cousins is here with me and I'm wondering what he's thinking about. And stay tuned, there's gonna be something that's gonna blow you away, but what's your thoughts on this? Yeah, first I thought this was a star actually in the sky during the low sunset setting and stars pop out at that time. But then we notice that this thing is moving and it is next to that plane. I wonder how far up above it. I wonder if it's lined up with this airliner, this uh, commercial airliner, or is this um, below thousands of feet? Uh, I, I want to make sure on that. That's uh, something we need to find out. I believe this is uh, another anomaly, the orbs that we're seeing from around the world, and this is more confirmation of, of uh, they're here, guys, and they're showing themselves. Yeah, isn't it really weird? Chemtrails UFOs. The link is definite, and the link means something. Obviously, we don't know what is in these chemtrails, if there's even a chemical within it these are magnets in regards to these bright lights these orbs are they uh, possibly organic uh, biological beings up there harnessing uh, just the particles from these chemtrails or whatever it is i don't know it's just kind of strange i gotta get your thoughts people but now this is kind of getting weird now take a look at this this was submitted to us and it's coming in from ebay and Apparently, somebody has just really, uh, put this up on eBay. Uh, an alien fetus cloned at Area 51. Real, not handmade. It's a, it's not a prop. He's stating, and he's asking 5,000 bucks or starting bid at $2,500. And uh, wow, this is, is, is this real? This guy has a background and we're looking at it and his background says he's a paranormal researcher and ufologist. He obtained this piece a few years ago for some one whom have been a relative of man who worked at Area 51, the S4 facility at Papoose in the dry lake near Groom Lake, Nevada. Now, the, okay, could this be real? I've never seen anything like this. That's why we're sharing it to you. But this guy is stating that this is a dead alien clone fetus that was cloned in a lab by biophysicists. All right, my main concern about this is why does it he just give this up for free? Let me tell you, we have experts in the field. Reach out to me and right here at Third Phase Moon and we'll be happy to analyze exactly what this is. Apparently he, he's already had experts do this. I wonder, he's almost, if this were true that he's putting himself on the line because you could always trace back the money. This is strange if you ask me, Brent. 
Yeah, Blake, is this snake oil medicine that we're uh, being delivered and fed into reality of what people might want to believe? I'm not sure. They say they gave this to biologists and they say the substance is from unknown basis, unknown species. Well, that that uh, leads one to wonder, what are we looking at? Could this be tissue of some sort, some sort of muscle? He does say there's tendons and things like that. But this could be from any animal here on Earth. And eBay, uh, they could call this a shill, in my opinion, and they better be careful about putting up so-called alien material for sale on eBay. Well, sure, absolutely, but then you gotta figure if this guy really wants to get it out and he's worked so hard to obtain this, maybe this is his only way and uh, way of getting it out. But let me tell you, I'm gonna reach, um, reaching out to you, whoever posted this up, take it down, take it down. Don't accept anything. You gotta get this out to the world for, for no price because this, if it were real, is priceless. You can't ask for money if you're dealing with some kind of alien tissue that is uh, legitimate from uh, Area 51. He says one thing is that it melts into grease when melted with heat. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. That's what he's asking. And uh, well, I'm asking you, please, why don't you just reach out and give this material to us and we'll keep in touch and deal with the rest, Brent. Yeah, if it's only thing, if it's all about money, then uh, I have a solution for you. That if close this eBay bidding down and give it to the public for free, and with the no notoriety you'd get from this, you'd be a hero. You'd be placed in history, and I think that's more powerful than five thousand dollars. So let's get started with that. Absolutely, if this thing is legit. We have scientists that could actually confirm whether this is extraterrestrial in origin or not. We'll make you a public figure in getting this out. And if you don't want to ha be a public figure, that's fine. Just submit it to us. And if there's any kind of uh, thing that you could be compensated for, well, that's something later to be dealt with. Not selling uh, alien remnants of possible DNA that we're not aware of on eBay. This is some kind of low blow, if you call call it. But, well, we just want to share this. It's, we're going to share the original link, so we'll see on how this goes. I, I think there's like four days on the bidding, so stay away from it because uh, I'm not sure. It's kind of weird if you ask me. Yeah, Blake, you never know. Somebody might just pick up on this, and if they do... Um, Sure, share it with the world and uh, let's get this out. Contact Third Phase of Moon. By popular demand, Paul Baird is back with his third album, Third Phase of Moon The Strangest Things. Third. Twelve brand new tracks heard by millions on your favorite channel, Third Phase of Moon. Available on iTunes, Amazon, and music streaming services. Phase of Moon, The Strangest Things. Available right now. Links are below. 